You're not hearing your voice, are you? No. Sounds normal. <laughs> I like how I said that and you're really quiet for a second. Am I <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> Yeah, what should we talk about? Well, let me tell you, I've got thoughts. Yeah, what are your thoughts? Well, I just have one thought. What's your thought? I'm going to open the air table to remind me of my thought. <laughs> no, I did have something that was rolling around my brain this morning. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the topics tab. Oh, wait, I'm not even in there yet. Come on. I now was I'm logged in from time. last time. <laughs> last um, time we talked. Something about this this project with... The Google thing. All Something right. about... Oh, no. <laughs> my phone My phone was like, oh, the Google thing? Here, let I'm me here. search for what <laughs> thing means. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> that was a rough slog. So in this, it wasn't the Google thing. It was the bank thing. So they want to do a bunch of research, right? And it's all generative, and they want to talk to people in... Uh, multiple locations and I propose to them taking an iterative approach you know as I usually do let's start with my proposal said six people we'll we'll stop or we'll pause and we'll be like is this enough do we want to keep going do you want to change, change tax and what I've found is when I propose this iterative approach even though when we all sit down and we're not like trying to get anything done anybody i ever talked to about this is like oh that's a really great way of approaching it but every single time that i propose that i get pushback because they want they're like well six people won't be enough and i'm like well i know that six people won't be enough but should is 60 enough oh no 60 is too much well what's enough you know and why not take and then they're like oh okay well an iterative approach makes sense but I, I think in some know. respects you can still make the claim that it's research, but like with usability testing right. with Mayo, we've done like, oh, well, we have to talk to 20 people or whatever. Right. Instead of taking an iter iterative approach, we committed to doing those 20 people. Did we need to do that? I'm trying to think of a scenario or a project where I or we started super small like six did the six i guess two examples one where that was enough right and one where we said okay yeah let's do six more to get more data yeah because mayo I don't, I don't think we ever started at that small at six i think we're doing like nine or twelve yeah we always did bigger numbers yeah and for the most part once we got past the first few it was the same conversation over and over again, right? which on the one hand is like, okay, well, this is really validating. Could we have stopped at three? Right. You know, in some respects, you don't know you could stop at three until you did the 12. Right. But I think at the same time, both you and I can tell or get a really good sense that you get that third, fourth person and either... We're not asking the right questions, but we're we're trying to follow some rigor to this so that we're having everybody go through the same thing. Not to jump back on the how many users is enough to test with. I think my my pitch is, you know, sometimes three is enough. Or or what I put in my my proposal was we'll do six. You know, talking about the iterative approach, you know, it's like I don't want to sell you on doing 60 interviews. Right. But if we all together determine that 60 interviews are what we need to build a high level of confidence that X, Y, and Z are the right things to do, then that's what we're going to do. It was something that was on my mind that I felt like could bridge, be on both sides of the perspective of the practitioner and the people who would be hiring us mm -hmm. to talk about, you know, like, how much effort do we have to put in to especially doing generative stuff? How much effort do we have to put in to get out value? And the answer is there is no number 
that is right. consistent go to. And that's why we do three, we do six, we stop, we assess, we do more, or we do more, but on different stuff, or we stop, or, and then that also, you know, it is related to my whole wanting to test the test or test the research by having running it through with people who are not, it's the, the have a pulse people. Cause I think the number of people, yeah, I like the tactic of not coming out. I mean, there is no right number. A, I mean, I kind of feel like three, it's three is never enough unless it's a super, super focused. Right. Yeah. Type of thing. Yeah. If you're testing a tiny feature or something, then maybe you've got one, one user type who's ever going to use it. Yeah. I mean, even then I would, I don't think I would feel right recommending only three. If that's the case, it, sh it would be a really quick test. It's a really small feature. Mm -hmm. You could bump that to six without a lot of expense or cost or time. The underlying intention is that we test it until we're confident. Mm -hmm. And it might be six, it might be 60, it might be a hundred, but if it's a hundred, then we're doing something wrong. <laughs> or something wrong you know it's a thousand because we want to get statistically significant <laughs> right which neither of us no do, but yeah anyway so that was my that was what was rattling around in my head this morning i like it like i like you i've pitched this you know we pitched it with the upwork folks and but the research that i have done it was just here's the number we're going to talk to 15 people or whatever it is and that's what we're going to do without a sense of re-upping now obviously if we did, I'm going to say 15 because it was around that, mm -hmm. and we were not able to draw conclusions, then I could have, I could see us having, having said, okay, let's do 10 more or something with a different design. Right. But we didn't go into it with that expectation. And 15, I wouldn't say that's an iterative, iterative approach. That was a larger population. One of the things of, of the iterative approach is if you do 15, not you, but if one does 15 interviews and gets to the point of like, we can draw no conclusions from this. Mm -hmm. How do you look as the researcher? Yeah. You've done 15, you've, you know, charged someone $30,000 or whatever. <clears throat> and, you know, you asked good questions. You had people who were appropriate to the profile. Mm-hmm but you still aren't very confident with the, what direction to take. To me, there's, there's a, there's a risk there of looking really incompetent. Right. Which I'm glad to say I've never been in that situation. Like each time I've always gotten, conclu I've gotten conclusions. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a great point. On the flip side, what if you say we're gonna do 15 and after five, you're hearing the same thing over and over again, do you cut it short and refund their money? <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. The answer is no, but anyway, <laughs> that's a trick question. That was a trick question. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You do stop and you don't refund money. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you have a nice dinner because you say right. time. Right. Right. Let me bring to your attention where I said up to 15 right. people. <laughs> 